As you can see, the uh, Toya points are quite small. I don't even think that's an inch long. And um, these are waste flakes from my debitage pile. This is a broken tip of an earlier arrowhead. And you can see that uh, it's very easy to use small flakes to make the Toya arrowheads. And what I think they were doing was using waste flakes from middens and debitage piles in the campsites that they were occupying uh, to make these Toya points. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be using these small, thin, oddly shaped flakes that normally would be waste uh, to make some more Toya points. Uh, now the white kind of washes out in the video, so I'll try not to use too much of the light color because you really can't see what's going on. I'll try this and some of the other darker chirts. This is all heat treated chert uh, from various different types of stone, but most of the stone is common in West Texas except for maybe some of this treated Paternalis chert. But this kind of stuff is common in West Texas. Same with this. Um, in far west Texas. Around here we don't have very much except maybe some limestone. And if we do have chert, it'll be very deep. I think this is a local chert that I found on uh, a railroad track, or railroad tracks in the, uh, in the rubble. And uh, I just heated that chunk that I found and uh, just broke it up into small pieces. Okay, that's it. I'm going to start making more of these just to give you an idea of the variation.